The recent trends I see is uh, we go into a beyond visual line of sight. So we fly further than, than we can actually see the UEV. This is a big trend. Um, a lot of governments put regulations into place at the moment that allow us to do this. Our newest product, the Trinity, um, actually aims at that market. We have the anti-collision lights, we have a transponder that transmits a position to all the other air traffic. So I think next two or three years is beyond visual line of sight so that you can map big areas and do linear infrastructure. I think in the future the whole UAV industry will have to shift a little bit. At the moment we solve problems that dealt with in a different way. For example, you had a laser scanner on the ground, we put that laser scanner into an airplane now, into a UAV, which is okay, which is good. And this is what we are doing. We took a camera from the ground into the air, but that's not where I see the whole industry going. Right now you still need operators to fly the drone. And I think in the future it's necessary that uh, all of this kind of works autonomously. My vision is that you have a box that is opening up the UAV comes out of this box, automatically flies, maps, drops the data, and the user does not have to control or fly the drone actually. So, uh, and that will save time and that will save money and this will make it huge. At the moment, I think we are just in the beginning of where of all this is going. In the near future, uh, we just released the Trinity F9, which is a big thing for us. In the near future, we will work on increasing the flight time. Um, so at the moment we are limited to 60 minutes due to uh, export restrictions. By the same time next year, we will have the two hour flight time. Um, so that will be a game changer again. Making the whole thing more robust, more easier to use, still easier to use. Uh, these are the things we're working on. We have everything in place now. So now bring it to the market, scale it up. Um, show as many people as possible over the world that this can be done with our uh, UAVs. Yeah?